Did we just get a form of extraterrestrial disclosure on a Super Bowl commercial? Or could this be something possibly more sinister? According to the Wall Street Journal, advertisements run during this year's Super Bowl cost $7 million for a 30-second ad. That's $200,333 a second. So if you're going to run an ad, you better make it meaningful, right? The Hello Down There Super Bowl ad has got people talking. Is it just a commercial or does it contain a foreshadowing message of something more sinister? Is this commercial about the possibility of a first contact scenario or does it fall in line with Werner Von Braun's last card scenario? We're going to take a look into each of these possibilities and explain why a commercial like this would be shown during a Super Bowl game, a game in which is arguably one of the most viewed events throughout the world. During the 2024 Super Bowl between the San Francisco 49ers and the Kansas City Chiefs, a commercial was run by Squarespace called Hello Down There, featuring a few smiling, four-fingered extraterrestrials that look like what many people would call greys, trying to interact with our terrestrial society. The commercial is filmed by director Martin Scorsese and features Scorsese and his daughter discussing the concepts of extraterrestrials while brainstorming ideas for a short film about a website. They talk about aliens and decide not to use Martians, instead choosing extraterrestrials from a different galaxy. Scorsese suggests that these extraterrestrials have been attempting to connect with Earth for about 100 years. Is it possible that this ad is attempting to normalize extraterrestrials or particularly gray extraterrestrials? Some people say there's a secret group called MJ-12 who arranged a meeting between the Greys and President Dwight D. Eisenhower and an agreement was made allowing Greys to study human biology through abductions and animal mutilations. In return, we, the humans, got access to advanced extraterrestrial technology, leading to things like the B-2 stealth bomber. Some people even believe that John F. Kennedy had a plan to reveal these negotiations, and this was one of the major reasons for his assassination. Is it possible that the commercial is trying to make us feel comfortable with the thought of friendly aliens visiting us with perhaps sinister notions and intentions similar to what happened on the TV series V where first contact was made but their intentions were nefarious. The commercial might make people think more about where we are in the big universe, sometimes called cosmic consciousness, by getting us to think outside of our usual thoughts by showing friendly gray extraterrestrials, it encourages us to be more open-minded about first contact. The idea of interacting with beings from other planets. In this scenario, reaching out to extraterrestrial neighbors could be an interesting and positive experience. I wonder why Scorsese specifically chose the extraterrestrials commonly known as greys. Why not reptilians or draconians? Werner von Braun an ex-Nazi scientist, came to the United States after World War II through Operation Paperclip, in which the United States recruited German scientists, engineers, and technicians to work for the American government. While on his deathbed, von Braun confided to Dr. Kael Rosen about external threats that would be created as a false flag by the United States government. I was introduced to the late Dr. Werner von Braun in the U.S., the father of rocketry. He said to me, Carol, you will stop the weaponization of space because there is a lie being told to everyone that the weaponization of space is now first being based upon the evil empire, the Russians. Then there would be terrorists. Then there would be third world countries. Now we call them rogue nations or nations of concern. Then there would be asteroids. And then he would repeat to me over and over, and the last card, the last card, the last card would be the extraterrestrial threat. If they might have a weapon, then we have to consider that they do have these weapons. So now they do have these weapons, so now we have to build these weapon systems. And that's the formula, except that it's all based on a lie. The last stage, the final stage, the last card involves a staged alien attack. 
with this in mind, some people might think the ad is setting the stage for a fake alien invasion by creating a staged crisis with our own unseen UFOs in order for a world government such as the United Nations or the World Economic Forum to serve as our saviors from these aliens. Foreshadowing has been used in Hollywood for decades. It means giving little hints or clues about what might happen later on in the movie. What if this commercial is foreshadowing? And what is it foreshadowing? Is it the last card and a staged alien invasion? Is it about having a first contact with our galactic neighbors? Is it neither? Is it both? Is it something else? Most people will see this particular Super Bowl ad as being fun with a little bit of excitement. For many people, it's like exploring a mystery in a world of fiction and reality. But if this commercial is about the last card or first contact, then the true meaning of it has yet to be determined. What are your thoughts? Leave a comment below. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe. I'd like to thank everyone who has helped to support my work on Patreon. Please join me there at patreon.com slash n5d and get a shout out on upcoming n5d production videos as well as being listed on our wall of gratitude featured on n5d.com. If no one has told you this yet today, please allow me to be the first. You are loved. You are appreciated. Thank you for your service to humanity. Until the next time, I'm Greg Prescott from n5d.com, sending you all infinite love from my heart to yours. Take care, everyone.